Women, Arts, and Social Change uh, initiative here at the National Museum of Women in the Arts. It is uh, my pleasure uh, to have three amazing poets with us tonight. A Good Cry, the poet X, <clears throat> Sister's Entrance, Nikki Giovanni, Elizabeth Acevedo, and Emmy Mahmood. These are our uh, speakers with us here this evening. Uh, the Women, Arts, and Social Change uh, public programming is made possible through the leadership uh, of Denise Littlefield Sobel, the Dore Davis Family Fund, the Susan and Jim Swartz Public Programs Fund, with additional support provided by the Bernstein Family Foundation and the Riva and David Logan Foundation. It, I'm also going to make a shameless plug for membership because it is thanks to members here who help make all our programming possible and pay a lot of our salaries. <laughs> so um, please consider joining the museum. Uh, in addition, uh, we'll be happy to uh, tell you that we have a wonderful season uh, for uh, already starting for uh, next year. We have, uh, and we'll be putting up information on that over the summer, uh, so you can look online. We also have a number of summer uh, ca cultural capital events including things with the March on Washington uh, Film Festival, which I hope you'll return for. Uh, for how many of you is this your first time in the museum for a program? Uh, that's pretty good. Well, welcome. Uh, I'm really glad you're here. For how many of you is this the, uh, are you a returning person to a Women, Arts, and Social Change program? Oh, that's, that's good too. Well, <laughs> it's always good to get a measure of whether this is that whether this is working or not. Um, uh, and uh, I want to especially acknowledge uh, Milani uh, Douglas, our head of public programs, and uh, Alicia Gregory for the great work that they put in. I want to uh, thank you all for coming, and now I turn the podium over to Milani, and I get to go sit with my girlfriends upstairs. <laughs> Hello. the public programs that would place the National Museum of Women in the Arts at the intersection of conversations on women in the arts for as a catalyst for social change. With the question, can we change it? Fresh Talk, the signature program of women arts and social change was born. From its first steps, the program established itself as a place for creative change agents to convene and discuss ideas and solutions. She mentioned our visionary donors that without them, when we had somebody had to kick us off, and they did. They said that it's time for shameless, cause-driven, unapologetically gender-specific programming that champions women through the arts. Um, almost a year ago, I can't believe it's been that long, almost a year ago I was invited to become director of public programs to determine where do we go from here, and I started by taking a second look at the question, can we change it, and turn it to, oh, we are changing, right? Because we are. Women are always changing it. And, and then now it's saying, let us tell you how we're changing it in so many different places. We've expanded our relationships with community organizations and changed our discussion into forums where everyone who attends can contribute ideas and solutions. We've had a powerful year, and I want to thank you for being the most forward-thinking and diverse audience in this region. You join us by, on, in person and online. And thank you for coming again and again. And for those who are coming the first time, it's kind of addictive. I'll see you again, right? <laughs> My first year would not have happened without Alicia Gregory. Where's Alicia? She's, oh, she's there. OK. She, Alicia's amazing. And it would not have happened without her. She has been the connector for our program's beginnings to from where they were to where they are now. Together, she, with you, we are mapping out our future and what it holds. As a poet, a writer, and a master planner, Alicia developed the framework for this program long before I came. This is her love, this is her heart. So she knew that when it was time to call on Elizabeth and Emmy, she said, we're going to fuel this conversation with them. And I appreciate her for knowing that, because I walked into greatness immediately. Alicia was like, here you go. I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so we asked Emmy and Elizabeth who they wanted to be in conversation with, and their suggestion led me to sending a very nervous letter to, <laughs> to Nikki Giovanni, asking her to be a part of the conversation with these women. And Nikki Giovanni was my first affirming yes. Okay. I hope they say Nikki. I hope they say Nikki. So thank you all. So here we are at the 
National Museum of Women in the Arts, the only museum solely dedicated to celebrating women artists and championing women through the arts, we gather again defining what it means to be a 21st century museum. How can a museum who shows beautiful art also do transformative work? We cannot answer these big questions without you. I hope you join us again in the fall where we have a powerful lineup that I can't wait to announce to you. Tonight we end our session where all collective change begins with the word. The word is a vision, a dream, a thought, a wish or hope shared. The word opens doors and opens space for others to say yes. That's right, me too. I am, we are, I am that change. I have the power, we have the power. You know what, we write this story. We can change this. We are changing this, join us. Tonight we will send you into the summer with enough poems to save you. Take them with you, write them down, tweet the words, fly away with them, move some mountains if you can. And if you remember, you know, just hashtag. Hashtag Fresh Talk for Change, so we can find each of you and each other in the digital abyss. Hashtag Fresh Talk for Change, right? We want to find each other, okay. There's not one woman on this stage that requires any introduction, but for the people all the way in the back, not that back, all the way in the back, that um, I must. So I'll introduce our, first pre our, fir our last presenter first, Nikki Giovanni, and I'll go in a back in backward order. From her first self-published volume of poetry, Black Feeling, Black Talk, to her most recent, A Good Cry, What We Learn From Tears and Laughter, Giovanni has crafted a word for every age through every age since the Civil Rights Movement. Nikki writes for us. Whoever your us is, the part of your us that tells the truth, that's who she writes for. Her words speak truths that, hear to, that hold together souls from the corners to Cornell, we are privileged to have her back at the National Museum of Women in the Arts. Our next poet, who will go on second, every word that Elizabeth Acevedo writes, Acevedo writes, speaks is an invitation to higher learning. Whether your classroom is a boardroom or a backyard, Elizabeth invites you to read some more, listen more, see more, and tell your truth. Say it, say it loud, say it in every language that you know, and say it on repeat. Elizabeth has shared her truth from South Africa to Kosovo, from Madison Square to Brussels. Daughter of Dominican immigrants, she is originally from New York. However, we are proud to say that now she lives in DC. She is a lover of language, and maybe she'll remind you why you love language as well. And last but not least, the pages are working. Lab, but first, we will hear from Emmy Mahmoud. For much of this year, Emmy was walking and talking across Sudan. Emmy used poetry to inspire and connect with people of Sudan. When Emmy speaks, we hear her mother's 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 words, which probably takes us back to all of our mothers, but that's another story. Like them, so many women before, she is telling the truth, and now we make sure that the world is listening. I introduce to you Emmy Mahmoud. Thank you.